All right, had our 715 second date update this morning. JR and Kevin held it down because Lana's at home right now with COVID. Anyway, uh, it was between Jacob and Kristen. Kristen was super embarrassed about something that happened on the date. And I would be embarrassed too, but she's not the first person this has happened to. And I'm glad she's okay. Check this out. We were trying to help out Jacob this morning. And it's kind of interesting because when I asked him, like, did anything happen? Can you think of anything? Because they had a great day. They went to downtown St. Pete, watched the lightning game. Right. Awesome. No friends showed up. No exes showed up. Oh. That was all good. And I said, nothing happened. And he said, well... There was a incident slash accident, but I don't really want to put that out there. If she wants to, that's fine. And so I go, well, dude, usually yep. when you say that, it's what you're thinking. And I'm sure this is the issue. Yeah. But he wants her to say it. So yeah. Now, you have her on hold, right? I do. She's a little anxious about coming on. Okay. So well, I'm just telling you that up front. I guess I would be, too. All right. Let's bring her on right now. Kristen, you there? Uh, yeah. Hey. Hey, Kristen. I know you talked to Kevin, and I understand completely that you'd be a little hesitant coming on the air with us, but I'll tell you this. This is actually, uh, we're reaching out to you to talk to you about a guy who is very, very into you, had nothing but nice things to say about you, talking about Jacob. Do you remember Jacob? Um, yeah, I do. (laughs) Okay. Well, the bottom line is you guys went and had a great date, he thought, in downtown St. Pete. I guess this was last week. And he's been reaching out to hang out with you again and hasn't heard from you. So what's going on? Um, well, there, I, I've just been kind of embarrassed. So I, um, I, I haven't, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm just nervous to, to see him and, um, after that. Okay. So can you tell us what happened and why you're nervous or? Um, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if I want to say it. Okay. Well, you, I want you to do with whatever you're comfortable with. I will tell you that, I mean, Jacob reached out to us, so I don't think you need to be too embarrassed because this guy really likes you. Okay. Um, well, so, yeah, like, um, we, we had a really good date. We watched the game, and, and we were um, bar hopping and whatnot. And, then, you know, like, people get all wild after the game, and, and we, um, you know those, those Uber scooters? Yeah, the we Uber scooters, up- yeah, the ones you rent. Yeah, because we had to park really far away. So we we got a scooter afterwards, and um, I just I totally biffed it, and um, I just went down real hard, and um, basically just road rashed my whole face, mm, like the whole oof. side. And um, you know he like I you know he scuffed up my elbow, and my knee too, and he wanted to take me to urgent care, and I was just so embarrassed I couldn't. I didn't want him to do that, but then, like the next day, it was um, you know once everything wore off, <laughs> it was worse, and it looks it just looks terrible. So um, I've really just been too embarrassed to talk to him. Okay, so first of all, I'm glad you're okay and talking to us right now. Um, uh, yeah, those things can get wild because anybody can rent them, yes. and so not everybody is super experienced on it. So I've it's seen true. people wipe out on those. So that's why you're not getting back to him is because you, you're embarrassed about the situation? I just don't want him to see me. My face looks horrible. Like, <laughs> I don't know how long this is going to take for me to go back to looking like a real person. Oh, man. Well, I'm sorry you're feeling man, that way. It stinks. I, <laughs> I mean, well, it does. I, I, I feel I, I, horrible for Well, her. I do feel bad. Uh, well, listen, we think that you may feel better about this because we have Jacob on the phone, Kristen, and he oh. is not discouraged by that at all. Um, I want to bring it back. Jacob, you there? Yeah. Uh, First of all, was that listen, what you were talking about? Was that what you didn't want to tell us? I Yeah. yeah. Um, I, it's not that big of a deal. I just want to make sure that you were okay. Um I, I, I had a great time with you. I don't want this to be like a big, like block for you. I mean, if you want to wait until you feel like your face, your face is healed, that's fine. But I mean, I'm fine with whatever. And like, don't feel embarrassed. I mean, I, I could have taken you to urgent care if you would have really wanted to. I mean, I had a great time, and I hope that didn't spoil like everything for you. And that's that's so sweet. I I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I've just been so like I didn't. I don't. I don't know. It's so weird. Because, you know, on a first date, you're trying to make a good impression, and I just felt like such an idiot, and um, and my face just looks like all torn up, and <laughs> it's so awful. <laughs> well, you you did make but, a yeah. good first impression. Otherwise, I wouldn't be following up and trying to call a radio station to get a hold of you. So uh, I definitely <laughs> want to see you again, and we'll take it at your pace, whatever you want. 
Maybe walking. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, maybe walking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walking sounds good. I like that. Um, yeah, maybe maybe in another week. <laughs> maybe my face will look slightly more normal. But yeah, we can we can talk before then. Hey, so oh, you're, you're yeah. going to go on another date, okay. Kristen? Yeah. Hey, yeah, hey. Yeah. Yes. Oh. awesome. <laughs> you did it. Jacob, here we go, buddy. Congratulations. Very, thank you. Thank you all so much. Appreciate it. Yeah. And Kristen, by the way, you're not the first person I've heard of or seen crash on one of these things. I mean, I'm telling you, people get out of control on these all the time. Um, I'm glad you're okay, like I said. Uh, but this is great. I'm glad you guys are going out. Uh, Jacob, you sound like a really good dude. Kristen, you sound very sweet as well. I'm going to put you both on hold. We're going to make sure we have all your info, and we're going to set you up, and we're actually going to pay for your next date. Awesome. <laughs> all right. Hang on for me, okay? All right. All right. Thanks, guys.